Hello friends, today's topic is synthesis of isosorbide dinitrate. Now this is the structure for isosorbide. It belongs to the category of anti-anginal drugs. Now if you look at the structure, you will find that there are two five-membered rings containing oxygen joined with each other two oxygens are there at position number two and five along with two nitro groups on oxygen the IUPAC name of this compound is 1 comma 4 is to 3 comma 6 di anhydro 2 5 di O nitro D glucitol now if you look at the synthesis you will easily find that why the name is given to it the synthesis of this compound start with a 6 carbon alcohol that is D glucitol. Well, this is the two dimensional structure for D glucitol, where you will find that there are six carbons joined with each other in a chain and containing six hydroxy groups. The classical feature of this molecule is that it consists of the hydroxy group on one end fourth position on right hand side whereas the hydroxy group on third and the sixth carbon on the left side to be to make more facilitate here is the three dimensional structure in this three dimensional structure, structure you will easily find that the hydroxy group on carbon number one and the hydroxy group on carbon number four are close enough to each other to react and liberate a water molecule thus making a five member ring with oxygen likewise the hydroxy group on portion number three and at portion number six are in close environment they will react to form to liberate a second water molecule in this way second ring is generated so a water molecule is liberated from the reaction of carbon number 1 and 4 that's why it is 1 4 and a second water molecule is generated between carbon number 3 and 6 so it is 3 6 though two water molecules are released so it is di and hydro the two nitro groups are on the oxygen so it is 2 5 di O nitro and though this structure is obtained from D glucitol so that's why the IUPAC name is suffixed with D glucitol so ultimately the starting material is D glucitol it is the, here is the two dimensional structure here is the three dimensional structure like this the D glucitol react with paratolvin sulfonic acid whereby the first and the fourth hydroxyl group and the third and the sixth hydroxyl groups are reacted to release two water molecules. The cyclization takes place. This result in the formation of isosorbite. Here you can easily find that two five membered oxygen containing ring joined with each other having two hydroxyl groups at position number two and at position number five when isosorbite react with nitrating acid that is the mixture of concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid liberate the nitronium ion which will find which act as electrophile and will get attacked on 
the oxygen of the hydroxyl group to liberate the titled molecule isosorbide dinitrate.